guys, today we're going to talk about discipline. So imagine this, you've had a rough day, but you've come home and you're pretty sure you've got the meal under control. You know exactly what your toddler wants. You've got the right shaped pasta with the right purple plate and their favorite perfect fork with that perfect sippy cup that they love, not any other kind, just that perfect one with that perfect color that makes everything just right. Oh, and that grated cheese, they don't like touching their pasta. We've made sure it is nowhere near the pasta. But then boom, the sippy cup goes on the floor. Why? because you forgot to get the orange juice without the pulp. And your little perfect princess does not like the pulp in her mouth. Believe me, I've been there before and it can be one of the most annoying things in the world. So maybe your child is acting out in that way or maybe they just whacked you over the head with a broom. The point is, kids act out and we need a way to discipline them effectively. The problem is we hardly have any discipline techniques left as parents that are apparently okay. And wait for this, this is shocking stuff, hold on to your knickers, timeouts are apparently bad for kids. So what do we have left at our disposal? First of all, let me tell you why they're bad. Kids act out, and they act out for a number of reasons. Either they're testing boundaries, something is bothering them, or they're just angry but they need to figure out a way to deal with any of those three things and you need to help them learn right from wrong. The problem with timeouts, and you might remember getting a timeout when you were a kid, when you get sent away to the chair or the stair or your room, wherever you go, you're not sitting there thinking, that was really bad of me. I should think of another way to deal with my anger. Oh no. Instead, you're having revenge scenarios. You're thinking, I must be adopted. How can I run away with teddy bear? The point is, timeouts are not effective, and all they do is create revenge feelings. So what do we do? I've come up with timeouts 2.0. This can go in two parts. The first is if your child does something that really makes your blood boil, instead of reacting and shouting and doing something that you regret, it's okay for you to take a timeout and say, you know what, mama needs a second. Give yourself a few deep breaths and figure out how you're going to handle it. You don't have to react immediately. The second thing is to take timeouts, but take them with your children. Take them out of the situation into another room or another place and talk to them about what they did wrong so they fully understand. And when you've had the conversation, you come back into the room and you move on. It's really important for you to be able to let it go so they can let it go too and move on. Now this constant talking about it will teach your children that when they have a problem, they talk about it instead of reacting in a way that isn't appropriate. You need to be consistent with this and you can start it as young as two and a half. It is never easy to discipline those that we love, but it's because we love them that we do need to discipline our children and teach them right from wrong and boundaries and how to deal with their problems. But the point is choosing a method like Time Acts 2.0 that don't harm your children and don't cause more problems. The key with any of this stuff is consistency and starting it young enough before anything has got out of control. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com and if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.